Some doors can open from the left, while some other doors can open from the right. But when you have two broken doors, left and right hand side, and you want to fix the locks, is there anything like a left-handed or right-handed lock? How do you replace it? Let me show you in this all new series. Welcome back to Smart Depot again today and this is a new series, a do-it-yourself series and we're checking if there is a, a left-handed or right-handed lock and how to maneuver that. So if you're new, do subscribe because I intend to make a playlist out of this one uh, because my locks broke down in the lockdown and since we can't go out, uh, it has to be like that and my little girls have been having field day. I mean, they go into the drawer, open the room, take things and you can stop them. So that's why we love the locks. So once the door have opened, we're able to buy new locks and that is the main dilemma. Both of them are left-handed uh, left uh, locks. So normally you can get the right-handed one, but the issue is that whichever one, you have to be able to change it to suit the door. We're starting with the right-handed door opening. And as you can see, this one is quite different from that. So let's get to work. You will probably need a screwdriver, a star screwdriver, or just a switchable screwdriver will be able to do the job. Or you can get a screwdriver with uh, multiple, you know, screw sets. So once you have that in place, um, the key thing here is that inside the hinge, you know, there's a hinge inside the, uh, there's a, a hold inside that uh, hinge that holds it from not going completely in. So you can see that it's actually movable. So when you press it back, it holds the spring uh, lock hook uh, uh, to, you know, be able to, you know, not get stuck inside like it is right now. So once it's there, if, you, if it goes up, then the thing will get stuck inside, right? But with that comes another trick. See, with this right now, once you push it in, raise the lock in, you can turn it and uh, once you raise the lock in, bring it in, you can turn it to move from left-handed uh, to right-side-handed uh, door. As you can see, it's quite movable. It's uh, it's like a screw. You can just turn it up and then set it. Now, as you can see, they already designed the same uh, door lock to be either left-handed or right-handed. So we've moved it now from left-handed to right-handed door opening, and that now suits the first door we want to fix. Uh, so you see it now, both of them are now different so let's get to work as you can see right now both of them are on the same path which is like right hand sided closing of the door but let me bring the old the other one as you see this one is completely different completely different so let's just get it started so first you got to pull out the main lock of course you can actually replace that one if it's the lock that is broken but here it is the mechanism that is broken and when you've done that you pull out the handle you lose it pull out the middle so you then lose this right hand side and once you lose it you just pull out the handle again and then you lose uh, the top and the lower screw uh, for the lock itself the one that holds the lock to the door so once you've done that right now you just be able to bring out the lock so as you can see right now, this is the broken one and this is the one we want to replace it with. They are almost always like the same size. This is the smaller one. There's a longer one too. So make sure you, you know about that when you go to change. So we will slot it in. It's not as difficult to actually change. It's just that trick to turn it left or right. Uh, that's actually much, much more difficult if you really don't know how to do that. It could really, really be frustrating. So that's why we did that. So if you really haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Then you're going to put the lock once you have tied it in the main lock to the wood or metal or whatever the door is made of. So while you put it in, you tied it in. Now it's tight. Now the next thing you need to test is the lock. You know, you, you, once you once you put it in, you have to check whether they are all moving. Then you put the handle. So always check that. You know while you're doing that. And once you put the handle in, we're like almost there to get the lock. Then you tighten it the top. And then you tighten the the bottom. So one of the things you also look out for once you're tightening this is to make sure that you pushing in the screw in doesn't affect the mechanism. As you can see right now, it's locking very very perfectly so 
you just go do the same thing for the other side and just tight it and yeah uh, once you finish that always check the lock whether it's locking whether the movement whether anything is you know stiff or holding the mechanism so that's just about that um i hope you really learned this trick and maybe share it and show people because like in this lockdown we just have to like fix it and as you can see the door is fixed it's working it's locking now my guys don't have to like going throughout the whole house and then looking for <laughs> whatever they could pick. So that's it. We have our door now fixed, uh, both from the left hand side to the right hand side. And now how we solved our problem, uh, the limit of, you know, left handed. This one is I call left handed side that is broken and this one is right handed side. So let me know if you like this video. Uh, this is a first one for our do it yourself series, a kind of handyman so I can actually do a whole lot of you know do it yourself uh subscribe comment in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one subscribe. I'll see you.